Hi children, good morning. I welcome you all to today's video class. This video class, in today's video class, we are going to see the second part of the noun. First part deals with kinds of nouns. You all have learned what's noun, what are all the kinds of nouns, and I have given you a lot of examples for each and every noun in the first part of video. In the second part, in today's video class, you are going to learn noun numbers and noun genders. Okay, fine. Nouns may refer to countable things. Noun may refer to uncountable things also. Things which can be counted. Things which can be expressed in exact numerical terms is called countable nouns. Otherwise, countable nouns are those nouns which can be counted and which can be expressed in exact numbers. They are called countable nouns. And some nouns which cannot be counted and which cannot be expressed in exact terms. They are called uncountable nouns. So, nouns can be countable, nouns can be uncountable. Let me give you some examples for countable nouns and some examples for uncountable nouns. Okay, children. See, I have given here some example for countable nouns. Box, photos, house, book. They are all countable nouns. Because you can count all such things using the numerical terms. 1, 2, 3, like that. Okay. And all such countable nouns have plurals. They have plural forms. See, book, books, box, boxes, house, houses, photo, photos. Okay, fine. So, all countable nouns have plurals. So, they can be changed into plural by adding yes or es to the singular. And these countable nouns alone take articles a and and the okay these countable nouns can be expressed can be counted and can be expressed in exact terms using the numerical terms therefore they can take definite article the and the indefinite article a and and before such nouns okay fine see uncountable nouns they cannot be counted but the quantity of uncountable nouns can be expressed in relative terms. Okay. They cannot be counted. And we cannot use the numerical terms to express its quantity. That is uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns cannot be counted. As they cannot be counted, they don't have any plural forms. Only one form they have. For example, you can give a lot of example for uncountable nouns. T. You can't just count one T, two T's, three T's like that. Shuhair. You can't just count. Then water. Isn't it? That cannot be counted. So T, Shuhair, water, uncountable nouns. And Yair. Yair is also an uncountable noun. Can you count Yair children? Absolutely not. Then rice. Rice is also an uncountable noun. Then knowledge. Knowledge. It cannot be counted. One knowledge, two knowledge. Not possible. Then oil. That also cannot be counted. Okay. And beauty. Anchor. They are all the examples for uncountable nouns. So uncountable nouns cannot be counted. Examples for uncountable nouns. Salt. Sand, flour, tea, coffee, water, oil, knowledge, beauty, air, hair, they are all uncountable nouns. Okay. These uncountable nouns cannot be counted. Okay, fine. So these uncountable nouns have no plural form. Very important children, countable nouns only have plural forms, uncountable nouns, they don't have any plural form. Let me repeat the definition, countable and uncountable. 
so nouns have two forms countable nouns and uncountable nouns they are all two kinds of nouns and the countable nouns are those nouns which can be counted which can be expressed in exact numerical terms uncountable nouns are those nouns which cannot be counted and which cannot be expressed in exact numerical terms okay fine and countable nouns have plural forms uncountable nouns they don't have any plural form and countable nouns take article both definite and indefinite article before them a am and the but uncountable nouns will never take article before them but in some special occasions when you want to give a reference to a particular object there you can use the definite article the alone that tea which you take from there is nice so on such occasions you can use but the use of the is highly restricted before uncountable nouns okay fine and then determinas you know that determinas are the small words they are used before nouns they just restricts the meanings of the nouns they just determine the meaning of the nouns therefore they are all called determinas some determinas are used before countable nouns some determinas are used before uncountable nouns i have enlisted all the determinas which can be used before countable and which can be used before uncountables have a notice see a and and the they are called articles they are used before countable nouns okay a book a table a box a house okay fine and apple and orange and egg and umbrella so they are countable nouns so we use a and an before them okay the book the house okay fine then we can use some determinants before countable nouns some boys are there i have some photos i have many balls i have many toys in the in the window show class i have many pens in my pocket i have many books in the shelf okay fine so some many few friends visited few friends came to my house yesterday i invited few friends to my birthday party okay fine then more more vegetables are available in the market more vegetables are available in the market more books are there in the library and the large large people gathered large people gathered okay fine then any anyone can do this anyone can do this any of your friend can do this any one pen can serve the purpose any book can be referred for these things okay fine so these determinants are used before countable nouns articles a and and the and other quantifiers other determinants are used before countable nouns may be singular or plural okay mostly a and an they are used before singular countable nouns such rules and regulations you have learned in your lower classes where we have to use articles where we have to use indefinite articles where we have to use definite article okay fine so i did not to explain once again the same okay fine so the quantifiers and other determinants are used before countable nouns some mangoes some boys some toys many balls few friends more books large crowd and any one so in this way these determinants can be used before countable nouns okay i will give you a list of some other uncountable nouns here see before uncountable nouns we never use article a and an because uncountable nouns they don't have any plural form yeah water 
will you will you ever use like this no it's a wrong usage okay but uncountable nouns can be used in such a way a cup of tea it can be quantified but for that you have to use a definite numerical adjective before it a numerical noun you have to use it or numerical terms you have to use before such uncountable nouns a plate of rice a plate of rice a cup of tea a tin of oil that usage is possible but you should not use a oil a rice a water okay fine yeah higher like that okay fine so uncountable nouns cannot be counted and more than that they don't have any plural forms and here i have given you list of some determiners which can be used before such nouns much little enough much little enough much water is there in the can little water is there in the pot a pot has little water he has much knowledge about the current affairs enough rice is there in the pot he had enough rice he had enough time okay so in this way these determiners are used before uncountable nouns okay and then we can use quantifiers or units of measurement before uncountable nouns to express its quantity so we can use quantifiers and units of measurement before uncountable nouns okay to express its quantity fine so let me repeat countable and uncountable nouns based on the c based on the quantity we divide the nouns or nouns are classified into countable and uncountable if you count or if nouns can be counted then they are called countable nouns so nouns that can be counted and expressed in exact numbers or units are called countable nouns numbers which cannot be counted are called uncountable nouns countable nouns have singular as well as plural forms but uncountable nouns they don't have any plural form we use articles before countable nouns but we never use article before uncountable nouns in some exceptional cases we use that to refer to the previous things as an article before uncountable nouns and we use some specific determiners before countable nouns i have enlisted all such determiners which we can use before countable nouns some many few more large and any we can use some determiners before uncountable nouns much little and enough they can be used before uncountable nouns and these countable nouns they are simply expressed the quantity can be expressed but uncountable nouns how can we express the quantity of uncountable nouns by using the quantifiers it can be expressed as i told you a liter of a liter oil a cup of tea a bottle of milk a cup of milk a plate of rice much knowledge little knowledge is always dangerous i had enough rice i had enough meals like that okay fine so based on these things next i am going to explain you noun numbers numbers noun numbers so based on the numbers nouns are classified into two singular nouns and plural nouns based on the numbers nouns are classified into singular number and the plural numbers or in otherwise you can say we have two numbers in english singular and the plural if a noun refers to only one object or one thing it is called a singular if a noun refers to only one thing then it is called a singular if a noun refers to more than one then it is called a plural you that in all the very basic things i hope you have learnt in your lower classes so yeah an apple is a singular apples plural yeah box is singular boxes plural
A tree is singular, trees are plural. Okay, fine. So if a noun refers to only one thing, it is called a singular. If a noun refers to more than one, then it is called a plural. Okay. Then here, how plurals are formed? Immediately you will answer. Suppose if, if I ask you a question, how plurals are formed, children? Immediately you will say, sir, if we add yes or yes to the singular, then we will get plural. Yeah, immediately you will say, that's correct. But some plurals are formed in some different ways. I will explain you how plurals are formed in today's video class. Okay, fine. See, to begin with, most of the plurals are formed from singular by adding yes or es to the singular. Most of the plurals are formed by adding yes or es to the singular. Okay. So, rule number one in the formation of plural add yes to the singular add yes to the singular see here i have given you a list of nouns see if you add yes to all these nouns you can get plural okay how table tables boy boys book books chair chairs tree trees pen pens house houses hand hands cow cows girl girls bat bats dog dogs cat cats yes children i hope all of you now understand how plurals are formed okay you have to add yes to the singular or these nouns takes yes in its plural form see table plural form tables that's all dog dogs bat bats that's all if you add yes to the singular then you will get plurals okay i have a table at my home I have a table at my home. We have many tables in our school. We have many tables in our school. We have many books in our library. We have many books in our school library. There are many boys in this classroom. There are 50 boys in this classroom. Then books, chair. See, in this classroom, five chairs are there in this classroom. There are five chairs in this classroom. You can say like that only. There are many trees in our school campus. There are many trees in our school campus. I have two pens. I have two pens in my pocket. There are many houses in our street. There are many houses in our street. We have two hands. We have two hands to work. And then cow. There are many cows in the veterinary hospitals. There are many cows in the court. There are many courts. There are many cows. Okay, fine. Then girls. There are many girls. There are 20 girls in our classroom. There are many girls in our school. Then bat. I have two bats. We have many bats in the sports palace. You can find many bats in the sports palace. Dogs. See, I have two dogs at my home. I have two dogs at my home. Then cats. We have many cats at our home. Okay, fine. So in all these examples, what I have given to you, I add mere yes to the singular to make it to plural. Okay. So in this way, plurals are found. Next, rule number two in the formation of plural. There are some words, there are some words in English which end in S, SH, CH, X, they have a sound at the end of the vowels, at the end of the word, you have to pronounce it, see, box, ish, tax, branch, and then bench, branch, Class, dish, search, 
brush you have the lost stiff sounds of these words if you have yes ch h s h x at the end of a word you will get this sound then such words gets its plural form by taking e s yes at its end so such nouns are changed into plural by adding e s yes to the singular okay for example box boxes e s yes. tax taxes e s yes. match matches e s yes. batch batches e s yes. bench benches e s yes. branch branches e s yes. class classes e s yes. dish dishes e s yes. search searches e s yes. brush brushes see there are many boxes here in this classroom so we have many boxes in the drawing room tax many taxes are levied by government then matches there are many matches in the match box much matches are there in the match box matches then batch we have three different batches we have three different batches so many benches are there in the classroom we have 10 benches in our classroom branches you can find many branches this tree has many branches this tree has many branches our school has two branches class different we have 10 classes in the ground floor we have 10 classes in the ground floor children like to have many dishes children like to have many dishes and searches see vertigan city if you go if you visit vertigan there you can see more searches more searches then brush painters use different types of brushes okay fine so in all these cases plurals are formed by adding es to the singular don't forget children this is rule number 2 if a noun ends with such letters yes ch s k h and s then they takes its plural by adding es to the singular box boxes tax taxes taxes match matches okay you have to add es batch batches bench benches branch branches class classes dish dishes search searches brush brushes okay so let me repeat it again so for most of the plurals are formed by adding yes to the singular and some of the plurals are formed by adding es to the singular yes children in rule number 1 and rule number 2 i have explained you how plurals are formed in rule number 1 singular nouns take yes in its plural form in rule number 2 singular nouns takes es in its plural form now let me give you the rules number 3 how these nouns takes its plural see the nouns which end in y takes its plural form in such a way first y should be changed into i then we have to add es to the singular go through the example city cities c i t i e s country countries this y should be changed into i then we have to add es family families fly flies baby babies lady ladies army armies puppy puppies copy copies so in all these nouns plurals how plurals are formed first y should be changed into i then we have to add es okay so city cities 
country countries family families fly flies baby babies lady ladies army armies puppy puppies copy and copies okay so in all these nouns first we change y into i then we add es to make it plural okay fine there are some exceptions to these rules there are some nouns which get its plural form in an exceptional way how day days we just add yes only toy toys key keys valley valleys donkey donkeys boy boys way ways ray rays okay you have to keep in your mind the exceptional words very important children these words gets its plural form in an exceptional way okay fine then rule number 4 here there are some nouns which end in f or f e then how such nouns get its plural form first f or f e should be changed into v then we have to add es okay see the example leaf leaves l e a b e s first f should be changed into v then we have to add es life lives l i v e s wife wives w i v e s knife knives k n i v e s shelf selves selves thief thieves calf calves c c a l v e s wolf wolves wolf wolves half halves half halves okay so in all these cases the nouns that ends in f or f e gets its plural by changing f in or f e into v then adding es to the singular okay that's a way to form plurals and these nouns also have some exceptional cases see cheap cheeps we have to add only yes to the singular to make it plural similarly believe believes that's all yes alone hoof hoofs yes alone cliff cliffs yes alone roof roofs proof proofs gulp gulps relief reliefs okay so in the rule number 4 plurals are formed by changing f or f e into v then adding es okay then come to rule number 5 here you have some list of nouns all such nouns end in o then how such nouns get its plural form yeah here is an answer first see you have to add es to all these nouns to get its plural you have to add es to this noun to make it plural for example tomato tomatoes potato potatoes buffalo buffaloes hero heroes negro negros mosquito mosquitoes mango mangoes and volcano volcanoes so in all these nouns these nouns end in o so they get its plural form by taking es with a singular okay fine then see some exceptional cases we have some exceptional cases here such nouns get mere s yes only not es keep in your mind children these except these are all exceptional cases these nouns never take es only s yes. photo photos piano pianos ratio ratios radio radios bamboo bamboos and dynamo dynamos okay so in rule number 5 we have some set of nouns to make it plural we have to add es to the singular and we have some exception also for this rule in all these cases we have to add mere es to the singular okay next come to rule number 6 there are some nouns which gets its plural by changing inside vowels so by changing inside vowels they get its plural form how 
man men ya yeah. goose geese see here a changed into e goose changed into e e geese foot feet e e woman woman tooth teeth mouse mice okay fine so in all these cases these nouns get its plural by changing inside the vowel by changing inside the vowels they get its plural form okay fine and these nouns also have some exceptions child children child children brother brothers or brethren both are equally accepted by the grammarians brother brothers are brethren okay besides we have some compound nouns also children you should know how these compound nouns get its plural form very important see father in law fathers in law yes to be added here fathers in law arm chair how will you change it into plural arm chair arm chairs arm chairs yes to be added here man servant men servant man servant men servant see when you are going to change it into plural you should take great care father in law fathers in law not father in laws that's wrong okay fine arm chair arms chair that's wrong arm chairs okay man servant men servant men servant woman servant women servant women servant general manager generals is wrong general managers yes should be added here okay general managers passer by passer by that is wrong passers by yes should be added here okay then governor general governors general governors general so in this way compound noun gets its plural uh, let me repeat all the rules rule number 3 all nouns here end in f sorry all nouns end in here y this y should be changed into i then we have to add es so rule number 4 all nouns end in f or f e here this should be f or f e should be changed into v then we have to add es to get its plural in rule number 5 all nouns end in o so they get its plural by taking es to the singular we have some exception also in rule number 6 there are some nouns which get its plural by changing inside vowels in rule number 7 we have some compound nouns this compound nouns gets its plural by adding s yes to the root word by adding s yes to the root word so when you are going to change a singular noun into plural noun you have to observe all these rules based on these rules only plurals are derived or formed okay children i hope now you could understand well so next i will explain noun genders okay so let me sum up the noun numbers numbers refers to the numbers which you can count so we have two numbers one is singular and another one is plural singular number refers to only one plural refers to more than one so if a noun refers to only one thing then it's called a singular if a noun refers to more than one then it is called a plural so plurals are generally formed by adding s yes or es yes to the singular so rule number 1 there are some nouns which takes s yes in its plural form rule number 2 there are some nouns which takes es yes in its plural form rule number 3 there are some nouns which end in y it takes ies yes in its plural form in rule number 4 there are some nouns which end in f or f e it gets its plural by changing f or f e into v then takes es yes. in rule number 5 all the nouns which end in letter o it takes es in its plural form rule number 6 changing inside vowels plurals are formed last compound nouns in compound nouns plurals are formed by adding s yes to the root word next i will explain what is noun gender how many genders are there in english i will explain you everything one by one Yes, children. You all have learned 
all the rules of formation of plural okay now before to start genders i would like to show you the charts which i have brought here see the singular and plural see an apple apples an apple apples so apple is a singular apples are plural so they are all countable nouns also okay then see another example here you have one box and two boxes box and boxes so when a noun end in x it gets its plural form by adding es box boxes apple and apples okay fine then see here is another picture which helps you to understand the countable and uncountable noun see the countable nouns balls they can be counted therefore they are all called countable nouns they are they can be counted therefore they are all called countable nouns and see uncountable nouns juice so they cannot be counted but it can be quantified a cup of juice a glass of juice okay like that so these are all the examples for countable and uncountables you too can collect lot of pictures like this for countable and lot of pictures for uncountable so examples for uncountable like this you can collect the picture of water oils flows hairs so many uncountable nouns pictures you can collect and you can paste it in your work and you can make an album and for countable nouns so many pictures are available balls pens tables chairs scales like that okay fine similarly for singular plural also you can count this like this pictures which can be counted one side you can paste all singular nouns on the other side you can paste all the plural nouns see like this also box boxes like this so many pictures you can collect okay fine next noun gender what do you mean by gender gender of living things it says whether it is a male or female only such a division is possible in the living things non living things you cannot just uh, separate or you cannot classify it as male or female okay only it is possible in the living things or when you talk of living things gender is possible gender stands for male or female it refers to whether the given noun is a male or female okay fine suppose if a noun stands for male then it is called a masculine gender okay if a noun stands for female then it is called a feminine gender if a noun refers to either male or female then it is called a common gender if a noun stands for neither male nor female then it is called a neuter gender most of the non living things are neuter gender so living things can be brought under either masculine or feminine suppose if it stands for both masculine or feminine that is either male or female then it can be brought under this title common gender but all non living things are neuter gender okay children see how these feminine genders are formed for example man woman i have given here example lion lioness tiger tigress okay so masculine gender and feminine gender example for common gender friend friend may be male or female boyfriend or girlfriend baby male baby or female baby enemy may be male or female so they are the best examples for common gender and the neuter gender table tree chair these things cannot be classified as male or female isn't it because they are all non living things okay fine then how these feminine genders are formed there are some rules behind such things let me explain all such rules one by one see to begin with most of the feminine genders are formed by adding es to the masculine gender 
for example author authoress count countess giant giantess host hostess lion lioness poet poetess okay so most of the nouns in most of the cases feminine genders are formed by adding es to the masculine gender okay so authoress countess giantess hostess lioness and poetess so we have to add here es to the masculine gender there are some nouns before they take es they get changed in some aspect so you have to effect some changes then only we can add es for example actor actress see the changes so mind the spelling actor and actress similarly tiger and tigress waiter waitress spelling is important negro negress n e g r e s s duke dutch duke dutch emperor empress god goddess g o d d w d e s s governor governess hunter huntress huntress inspector inspectress okay so in all these cases these nouns get its feminine by changing some letters and then taking es to the masculine gender okay fine change of words so there are some words for such words totally we have different feminine words so those words are totally change in its feminine form okay see boy girl so the separate words are used to refer to feminine gender for these masculine genders bull cow boy girl bull cow brother sister bachelor spinster groom bridegroom bride wizard witch hero heroine gentleman gentlewoman or lady husband wife king queen prince princess widower widow lord lady lord and lady isn't it monk nun lad lady bachelor spinster sad man sad man landlord in this in this group i would like to give you some more words landlord land lady nephew niece nephew niece son daughter grandfather grandmother uncle aunt uncle aunt son daughter nephew niece landlord land lady sad s yes, i r sad ma'am lad l a d lad las okay apart a p p o t apart apas actor actress actor actress author a u t h o r author authoress author a u t h o r author a u t h o r e s author authoress baron b a r o n baron baroness baron baroness conductor conductress conductor conductress count countess c o u n t count countess duke duchess emperor empress e m p e r o r emperor empress headmaster headmistress headmaster headmistress hair h a h a i r hairess host h o s t host hostess one who offers something hunter huntress h u n t r hunter huntress instructor instructress manager manageress manager manageress master mistress master mistress see i'll show you picture see masculine lion masculine lion feminine lioness feminine lioness so host hostess hunter huntress instructor instructress manager manageress 
மாஸ்டர் மிஸ்டர்ஸ் மேயர் மேயரஸ் மில்லினியர் அண்ட் மில்லினியரஸ் மர்டரர் மர்டரஸ் நீக்ரோ நீக்ரஸ் பேட்ரான் பேட்ரனஸ் போயட் போயட்டஸ் ப்ரீஸ்ட் ப்ரீஸ்டஸ் ப்ரொபெட் ஒன் ஹூ டெல்ஸ் எவ்ரி திங் இன் அட்வான்ஸ் ப்ரொஃபஸி ப்ரொபெட் ப்ரொபெட்டஸ் ப்ரொப்பரைட்டர் ப்ரொப்பரைட்டஸ் ஷப்பர் ஷேப்படஸ் டெய்லர் டெய்லரஸ் வெயிட்டர் அண்ட் வெயிட்டர்ஸ் ஸோ இன் திஸ் வே மோஸ்ட் ஆஃப் த ஃபீமனைன் ஜெண்டர்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபார்ம்ட் so you have to keep the rules you know mind very nice see for uh, animals how plural see this feminine genders are formed you know that lion lioness tiger tigress boar b o r boar so s o w sow duck dog deer hind d e e r deer hind bull cow cock c o c k cock hen called to see will be called to philly f i l l y philly fox vixen peacock peacon stack s t a g stack hind stallion s t a l l i o n stallion mare horse mare like that stallion mare sheep s k e e p sheep e u e w e okay fine and let me give you some more examples for common gender he here i have given you some examples friend baby and enemy i would like to give you some more example child maybe a male child or female child friend maybe boyfriend or girlfriend cook boy or girl or man or woman driver is a common gender parent is also common gender doctor maybe a male or female cousin male or female cousin brother cousin sister in our spoken language we use such things teacher may be male or female neighbor male or female pupil male or female thief male or female servant unless if it is specified man servant or servant maid maid servant otherwise if you say common servant means it is a common gender only enemy singer may be a male singer or female singer and then judge okay so they are all the best example for common gender so you cannot say it belongs to male or female it may be either male or female that's why we call all such nouns as common gender okay good next let me give you some examples for a neuter gender almost all those things non living things can be categorized as neuter gender because it is not possible to identify the gender in the non living things table chair paper book umbrella money room shop stars rose plant air food radio album photograph camera school college etc so they are all called a neuter gender in the neuter gender in the case of neuter gender it is not possible to identify the gender okay here i would like to say one more thing there are certain things which can be specially used to, to refer to feminine characters for example ships and the cars feminine gender is normally used the ship titanic sank when she took her maiden voyage because due to its tenderness these nouns are used to refer to feminine gender the ship titanic sank when she took her maiden voyage abstract nouns and collective nouns are considered to be neuter gender mostly abstract nouns and collective nouns for example gang audience crowd beauty truth okay fine small babies are considered to be common gender okay small babies are considered as common gender masculine gender is used for things which have remarkable strength as i told you already certain nouns which have which are used for to refer to feminine gender of its tenderness masculine gender is used for things which have remarkable strength and violence 
द सन समर विंटर टाइम डेथ थंडर द ओशन डेथ पुट साइसी हैंड्स ऑन किंग्स इवन ओके फिमिनल जेंडर इज यूज फॉर थिंग्स विच हैव ब्यूटी ग्रेस एंड जेंडलनेस ओके फाइन सो आई विल गिव यू what are compound nouns i will explain next what are compound nouns how these compound nouns are formed okay fine so so far now you have learned noun numbers and noun gender so many examples we have discussed in today's video class i hope you have a very clear now you have a very clear idea in your mind about how plurals are formed how feminine genders are formed with these next i would like to give you some more examples for uh how to say for compound nouns how these compound nouns are formed let me give you some examples for compound nouns compound nouns okay children what do you mean by compound nouns compound nouns are generally formed by taking together two different nouns any two different nouns can be joined together to form a compound nouns but see so many elements are there in the compound nouns so many elements are there in the compound nouns a noun can be joined with a noun sometimes an adjective can be joined with a noun sometimes a verb can be joined with a noun so a verb and adverbs can be joined together and then we will see example for all these things noun plus noun how these compound nouns are formed for example tooth plus brush tooth brush tooth is a noun brush is also a noun and then school boy school plus boy school boy school is a noun boy is also a noun see food see plus food see is a noun food is also a noun so noun plus noun is a compound noun then adjective plus noun green plus house green house good plus will good will good will gentle plus man gentle man okay fine so adjective is plus noun then noun plus verb how these compound nouns are formed hair plus cut hair cut has hair is a noun cut is a verb hair cut day dream day is a noun dream is a verb so day dream what fall water is a noun fall is a verb waterfall then verb plus adverb can join together can be joined together to form compound noun take off take off take plus off take is a verb off is an adverb wash out wash is a verb and out is an adverb flash back flash is a verb and back is an adverb okay then compound words can be written in the following way maybe written as a single word a compound word may be written as a hyphenated words in this case you may have hyphen in between two compound words then it may be written as a spaced words there may be some space in between see firewood bedroom so here these two separate words join together to form a compound word and it is written as a single word okay firewood and bedroom hyphenated word check hyphen in check in dry cleaning dry hyphen cleaning okay fine so why we call it is a hyphenated words because we have hyphen in between spaced words here we have to leave some space bus stop water bottle post office okay children so let me give you a brief of the things what you have learnt in today's video class so noun countable and uncountable nouns is one of the classification of the nouns such a classification is done based on the counting of the noun suppose if you can count a noun then it can be called as a countable noun if you cannot count and express it in exact terms then it is called a uncountable noun and what determiners we have to use before countable and what determiners we have to use before uncountable nouns i have explained and i have given you a lot of examples for to understand the concept then i have explained noun numbers 
what is numbers how many numbers are there in english two numbers singular and plural a noun that refers to only one thing is called singular a noun that refers to more than one thing is called plural and i have given you lot of examples for singular and plural nouns and how plurals are formed there are so many rules behind that such a formation of the plurals that also i have explained with good examples and then noun gender how genders are formed how many genders we have only genders is possible we can classify the genders of living things only masculine feminine common and neuter i have given examples also and the last one compound words or compound nouns these compound nouns are formed by taking together two parts of speech may be noun with noun or noun with verb adjectives plus noun noun plus adverb okay in such a way these the compound words are formed and then how these compound words are expressed okay children probably you may get answer for all these exercises which is found in your grammar book the first part that's noun either through online classes or if it is possible if time permits us we will send it to you through homework okay in such a way anyhow we just to go through the exercises examples given in your grammar book collins grammar and just to try to find out answer just to try to find out yourself the answer for all the exercises and you will get the guidance of our teachers okay children thank you have a nice day